Hi Sam, this is question number two and I've chosen a question involving money, litres and percentage. Percentage on its own is not a difficult question but we have four parts here and that's really what makes this question a little bit difficult. We've got to use earlier parts to help us with later parts. So let's have a look at this now. If we read question number one, we have petrol costs 92 pence per litre. Jack always bought 24 litres of petrol each week. How much did Jack spend on petrol each week? So we have the 92 pence per litre, so we know that. We also know um, it's 24 litres that he used. Um, one little thing we have to bear in mind is, is that the answer is actually in pounds. So I think instead of calling that 92 times 24, we'll turn that into pounds straight away. So that's going to be 0 0.92 uh, multiplied by 24. And then we just use our calculator. We're actually allowed to calculate for this question. So that gives you 22 pounds and 8 pence. In question uh, part 2, the price of the petrol increases by 7.5%. What is the new price of 1 litre of petrol? Give your answer to one decimal place. So there's actually two ways to do this. Um, we can do it like by saying 100% is equal to um, 92 pence. Um, because petrol's going up in price, so the original price was 92 pence. So that means 10% is going to be equal to 9.2. And 5% will be equal to half to that, which is 4.6. And 2.5% will be equal to 2.3 pence. So why do we go down to 2.5? Because we want 7.5, and we can get that by adding 5 and 2.5. So if we do that now, um, 7.5 is the same as 4.6, which is the 5%, and the 2.3, which is the 2.5%. So you add those together, you get 6.9. So if we add that with the original amount, um, so it's increased, it's gone up by 7.5%, so the original was 92 pence, so 92, and we add that new extra 6.9 pence, because that's the 7.5 increase, we get a total of 98.9. Now there is a second way to do that. 7.5% um, can be written on a calculator as, uh, sorry, an increase of 7.5% can be written on a calculator as 1.075. Um, then we multiply that by 92 and gets us straight to the answer. To give you another example, if we had 20%, I can't make, can't see that 20 there, but say that's 20%. Um, we would write it as 1.20. You see, there's the there's the 20, and there's the 0 0.75 for seven. So there's the 7.507, as in units, tens. So if we had 20% increase, it would be 1.20. If we had 2% increase, it would be 1.02. So now we know that um, the new price of petrol is 98. 9 pence. In the third part, we find that because of the, of the price increase, Jack decides to reduce the amount of petrol he buys each week by 12.5%. How much does Jack now spend on petrol each week? So we're going to be using this price now, this new price, 98 pence, 98.9 pence. And we're going to be um, finding a reduced amount of petrol that he buys. So he normally buys 24 litres, but we're going to reduce that by 12.5%. We can do exactly the same again by finding a 10%, a 5, and a 2. So let's try that now. So we're going to take off 12.5%. So 100 is equal to 24 litres. That's the total amount that he would normally buy. So 10% would be 2.4. 5% would be 1.2. 2.5% would be 0 0.6. So to get our 12.5, we need a 10 and a 2.5. So we add... 12.5 is the same as 2.4 plus 0 0.6, which is the same as 3 litres. So we take our original amount, which is 24 litres, and we subtract 3, and that gives us 21 litres. Not quite finished yet, because it says how much does Jack now spend, but well, we now know that he uses 21 litres. Got to times that by the new price, because he's buying the more expensive um, petrol now. So it'll be 21 times 98.9, but because we're doing pounds, we want to times it by 0 0.989. So let's do that now. 21 times 0.989, and that gives us 20 pounds 77, rounded to the nearest penny. Okay, final part then. Find the reduction 
in Jack's weekly petrol bill as a percentage of his original weekly bill. Give your answer correct to the nearest whole number. So we first want to find the reduction. Um, so obviously his original bill was £22.08. We're going to take off £20.77 and that will give us a reduction of £1.31. Um, now as a percentage of the original weekly we do the uh, reduction his reduction first as a fraction of so this reduction as a fraction of the original amount so if you want to do a uh, percentage reduction you do the reduction divided by the original and to make it a percentage you times by 100 well, that would also work for a percentage increase as well you'd find the increase divided by the original amount times it by 100 so we just need to put that into our calculator now times about 100 we get an answer of 5.93% it did say to the nearest and you see that to the nearest whole number so to the nearest whole number that's going to be 6% so there we go that's an example of a uh, percentage question involving a number of different parts and of course people find that difficult because if you mess up on the first part it affects the second and third part. So I hope that's helpful and I'll see you again in video three.